structure. Yes. OG wants chaos. Yeah. I know two people that want chaos as well, actually. Uh, those two people are the two people that we're going to hear because our commentary team for that is Odie. Oh, oh yeah. Odie Pixel and Fogged. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jimmy. Yes, OG versus Secret should be uh, an exciting series. Fog, yeah. we just had the drafts. Well, what are you looking forward to seeing from this one? Uh, I mean, just a lot of battling is what I'm looking forward to, which I think we're definitely going to get, especially with this Drow Ranger pick in the mid lane. As they said, Topson's been picking it quite a lot. Last few days that he's played it, hasn't, been doing. Looked, hasn't been doing the great the last few days, but two or three days ago, he did win like six-something games in a row. So well, there we he's go. had some good showings in particular matchups, but they did counter pick it quite heavily. Like the first opener, they see that Drow, they pick the Mars, but that does mean that it gives Ana this setup toward the end to be able to get a Juggernaut. When you look at the overall like heroes that can actually kill him, he's not under too many threats of a lot of these stuns. He can actually play around them pretty well with that spin. Mm -hmm. It's only really like that they can get a full combination of the Mars spear plus like an arrow. Besides that, he should be able to get most spins off and live. There is a lot of control coming out from Secret that I'm seeing, all right? Stuns, silences a plenty, which is something that does hurt Brewmaster a lot. Same thing for Darkseid, which is the big team fight that OG has. Sure. Uh, and you know that Jug, it, it seems to be a hero that some of the other teams in, in Europe are kind of <laughs> not going for. You know, they're sort of yeah. avoiding, even if it's left to the draft. Why do you think some teams are sort of straight away from it? And, and why is it still fine for and good for OG here as the last pick? Well, Ana just really likes to play it, and I think it fits their skirmish style. Yeah. It's just a hero that can play fast, a hero that can constantly be just looking to show up for the fights, and they love Healing Ward. The way that they can play with the resets, I think that's just like the definition of OG, just resetting fights, constantly looking for the chaos of that reset. As a smoke level one, secret. Let's start with some blood. They've got the Mirana positioned there on the bottom with the arrow too, so OG, gotta the be a little careful. Begins. Blood right to secure, arrow as well. Looks like it should be three runes for the side of secret because of that. Okay, and so, so overall, you do expect that when it comes to the lanes, Secret should have a slight edge in the matchups. Yes, uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure about the mid matchup. I think I still think Nisha should do fine because the Flame Guard, you just push the lane in constantly. Drow should probably still just free farm too, but I don't know how much pressure you're going to be able to place. Bottom lane, this looks a little tough for Darkseer and Clockwork. Just one of the better just spam lanes, right? Grimstroke and Bloodseeker just able to constantly push the lane out. You also have the heal that's going to be coming in as Bloodseeker versus Darkseer. But I'm going to be watching mid. You know, this is not a matchup we get to see too often. So let's see if the highest physical damage from a drow is able to take advantage of some slight low armor. Yeah, we see straight away with the level one multi shot, just using it immediately to, to, to make sure that the wave doesn't get pushed in upon him. Yeah, I like that. And top, it looks like we did see an arrow perhaps immediately onto the range creep and just already some manipulation up here of the actual lane equilibrium. And blocks of plenty. Looking at these sentry wards, top is the one that's more focused on from both sides. No tell will find the D ward, so he'll have a pull open to himself shortly. No. But they're trying to keep this positioning here of the lane. Secret, they want to be able to pull it back, because when you're playing versus Jug, you can get that extra little bit of harass. And he doesn't have a great support next to him, right? He has a brewmaster, which no tell could suffer quite a bit here. Orb of Venom, very nice to be able to push away Yaps, or at least because he does have just level one arrow. But yeah, bottom I think is going to be the one that Amateur. is going to be really tough, especially for Seb. This is just a straight up counter pick in the lane for these two. Sure, but I imagine we should see down in this bottom lane eventually, or Saxor or Seb starting to just grab the creeps from behind the tower and of course. avoiding playing the, the lane straight into to the heroes a secret at all. It gets better as you get more levels because you can actually force the lane in almost as hard as a Bloodseeker once okay. you get like level two Ion Shell. But we have seen some troubles at least from some of these double melees. See, yeah, yep, so I'm more than happy to, to trade hits back at no tap. Oh, yeah. Starting items to the double fairy fire. He reblocks before the two minute. He's going to take out the sentry as well, prioritizing that lane positioning as we were mentioning before for Zai. And not a struggling already. Just only up to the five last hits to start off here. Bottom. Should be able to net themselves a kill, but just pushing them away there. Yeah, they get in range things well stunned, but not quite in time to hold them in the blood right. Matter will now start to, to run out of mana, but he's got the stick charges, so yep. still chances to to have that backup blood right at the ready in case Saxer and Seb get aggressive onto him. Yeah, he's got boots immediately on that blood seeker down bottom. He knows only way he dies if he gets ran down with double eye on Shell Zai. A little bit of trouble. He's always got the TP if they go too hard on him, but he doesn't actually use it. Ana's taking a lot of damage on himself. The right clicks are adding up. Ana's got to be careful. Yep, jumping in. The arrow's off the mark, but with the leaps, he may just have it. He does. Yep, so gets the first blood here as Ana just getting a little too aggressive with that level one spin when they've got the ability on their, their lane to just turn and right click you. Nice vacuum. It's going to be risky. Bottom lane, Matu. He's out just in time. They've got a south good to go as well. So Matu will be kept safe. Only six last hits on Seb. He is 
continuing to suffer down here at the start. And mid, though, we're seeing a lot of denies being built up. So I, th that is the beauty. He's just going to probably build what? Just straight damage. He goes for just into a band of Elven Skin, into early treads to be able to get a lane advantage. Nisha's still also getting some last hits. But yeah, draw matchup. Draw favored. Yeah, I know. At like the moment, pretty much the, the, the only lane that OG's having that edge on the side lane. Yep. It's definitely a, a tough start here for OG. Uh, especially that top. Just 9 CS at the moment on Anna. Tox is actually going to suicide the tower, too. Down bottom tier 2. Gives his life just to reset the lane, just so he can refill. Probably bring the bottle, I think, for Seb, but does he actually even have it done yet on Seb? He doesn't just yet, so either way, he wants to be able to make his way back down healthy so that he can actually try to pressure the Bloodseed, because they're really, like, look at bottom. It's six last hits. He's getting almost nothing. Yeah, is that sort of standard here, you know, for Seb to, to very early on finish out the, the full wand in the lane? Just because they're spamming so much, right? Okay. This is probably the most spamming lane that he's going to play against. It. Like, Bloodseeker's always going to be forcing lane out. Same thing for Grimstroke, so you can see why. But yeah, finishing it up is definitely a bit interesting. Tops and 10 denies already. 22-10. So he's going to be the big one to watch. He, no side picks. Really yeah, tough. Tops is going to have to do quite a bit in the mid game with the way top lane and bottom lane going. This could help clean things up a little bit for them. Stick charge in both and Zai will get the spear off. the tower. They may have killed Zai, but Zai with that final spear as he goes down will set up for the trade. That was so big brain. Like, he just, he waited for the final moment to pop his stick too. Gets the angle. Sox also gets the angle himself here with a rocket. Nicely done. Starting to, to heat up already on both of the side lanes. Definitely seeing the, the big advantage, at least, of having Thirst to inside the laning phase. That was why we did see the top kill first from Yap, so you get all these vision advantage. And just harassment in early game will be making that lane better. We see the... Okay, he's putting stats in, so even more base damage. Look at this. Okay. Treads, and then he's going to go right, straight for that Dragon Lance. So he's going to be very tanky as this Drow. Ah, it's going to be interesting to see, because, of course, you know, Drow here, are the, the stats are nice, but also the... The extra points in the skills are pretty valuable, so... Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. This is obviously the way the Thompson likes to play. Oh, no. He's going to do a lot and they... Oh, Again? That's three times. Oh, you asked why we weren't yeah. seeing the jug so I much. I guess this and, is why uh, we're not seeing the jug. Well, Whoa. I'm barely seeing the jug on my screen at all. He's off That's the map. True. Seb. The next thing swat onto both. Seb. We'll be able to get away nice cogs. Yeah, it's excellent. We'll be able to hold back Matu. So Seb will be safe. Seb actually starting to stab up. They're going to be able to attack with the vacuum. Matu. He's getting low, but he's got that movement speed. He's all over the place. He's able to run away very easily. It's so hard to see the Ion show on this clockwork, too. Oh, look at this top Zai. He's in onto Nota. Nota's in a bit of trouble there. Do they already have arcane boots on Yapsor? They constantly will have mana to go for these pressure plays here. The spear. See so if they run the damage. They... They do. I mean, this top lane is getting pretty darn messy here for OG. They're going to need something beautiful out of Thompson. He is having a good time, but man, everybody else Tops suffering to carry so on. hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. sort like Arcane Boots so early up top. That means they always have the mana to be able to go for throwing these spells out onto Ana and No-Tail. We knew this lane would be tough, but maybe not this tough for them. I mean, that, and that's the thing as well. With Thompson's built getting the points into this, the stats, though, that doesn't sort of say, hey, guys, I'm going to be ready to, nope. to come to the side lanes and help you out, right? That says, hey, I'm going to be hitting the creeps. I he does have two points, that. at least, in Frost Arrow, so maybe we'll be building up as he can make moves with that. Bottom. See Puffy for the six charges. He will go down, but Matsu's able to get the clean up in return. Thompson's moving down. He is making the rotation. Oh, but the, the arrow. Yapso comes in with the rotation, catches Seb off guard. Seb goes down, and Thompson can't do anything now. Nope. He needed the plus one. At least somebody to be able to body. But he's kind of sticking around here. Might wait until the clockwork does come down, because he can still kill Matsu, but he's actually just going to make his way over. Yeah. I mean, but we're seeing it. We're seven minutes in. Top five net worth. Four of them. Are oh, that a secret? Now, Yapso, of course, you know, he's, he's 400 gold ahead of Anna. Oh, yeah. That is problematic, as we see the item build, too, from Yapsor. He's just going to be building straight toward a mech. Really good item to be able to match up versus eventually what you would expect, like a Darkseer mech, but also just the armor that you're always going to be providing with versus Drow is going to be really nice. Same thing with that bonus heal. This is yeah, this is going to be hard for OG. I mean, I'm 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 ready to be surprised at least for a Drow, but yeah. I don't know what he's going to be able to do because it's not the easiest of Drow games either. They have a lot of ways to get on top of him. They have the Marzol to block versus the you know regular attack. Sure, the multi shot will be able to go through, but it doesn't look the easiest. And now they're giving No Tail the mid lane since he's near level six at the very least for them. So he's going to have a level an early six on the Brewmaster at the very least for them too. And where, where do you think you're looking to go with that first primal split? Like where? Where's the biggest potential for, for OG to make a play? 
I mean, they need to they need to fix like all the lanes. So anywhere he hits really is going to be good. I think bottom could be a good one though because they need to slow down this blood sucker a bit. He just he's getting a bit too out of control, and he's got the big the best matchup at least to just get right on top of that drow ranger. Do think Nosa would like to make the move bottom? He might just go down. He actually says he has a lot of damage here though from Nishi with that D. And uh, we are seeing Anna and Thompson. They both had to resign to the jungle. Oh, uh, they're sharing the jungle together here. That is not a good sign. Zai, free lane top, Bloodseeker, free lane bottom. Zaxa though says, is it a free lane? So they've got the blood right down. Saxa, they have so much damage. Pretty tanky, but indeed, especially with the rupture. Zaxa, he'll stand his ground. And oh, he does get okay. oh, Zaxa! All right, he'll take that. He'll certainly take that. Brings Matu down with him. Nisha's down here. The split. All right, they might get some more, Nisha. I don't think they expected the split so early. Nisha's going to be right up into the air for now. The Moonlight Shadow's out, so they'll get Puppy safely out of there. We'll lose his curry, though. Nisha also just breaking away, respecting the split here from No Tap. Ooh. Definitely want to. I mean, I don't think. I don't think the side of Secret expected such an early Brew Six. I don't think the side OG expected such an early Six on that Mirana from Yapsor. We'll see here. Sap, Sap. He's going to run with the Remnant. He could close the gap. Nisha's able to close in. Make sure the Ink's well connects. And Sep, he's taking out Courier as well. Well, he'll certainly take that. That's No Tail's boost out of the game. Oh, and now. And then he just gets ran down his top. They will get at least a return kill on Zai, finally, for Ana. Quick, quick moves. Secret array up to 3k gold lead from these quick moves. Like you said the four top. Is under attack. Four top out of that five. But Ana finally getting himself involved back he in the Saxa. He's catching back Dyer's up a little bit, getting some action, making sure that that Radiant's first Omni Slash is under attack. finds it, finds a kill. This Darkseer is just so far behind, though. This is the really big concern for me. Is It's not an easy game for him, either. His mech timing is going to be slowed down a lot. The mech's timing is going to come out the same, same time or slower than the Mirana, the four position. Arrow? Off the mark. Yeah, they're ready for that there. Got the vision up. OG's doing a good job at least of securing oh, runes, I've been seeing. He's looking to see what he can do in the jungle. He's running down Topson. He's not going to go for any any further with the aggression, though. Sacks are around. Hookshot back up. Yeah, I feel for the most part, though, that it has been OG at least denying these runes away from Nisha. So I see him running around without, like, much of a full battle and no power runes himself, but still looking to play super aggressive. Oh, Nisha. Has been killed. Now the setup here. Oh, Spear's dead, though. Watching from the high ground. They get the Spear over on the side onto Sax. And Nisha's in trouble. They've been gusted about him. Nisha's going to get taken out. Zai drops the arena. They found Sax to see if they can get more out of this. They'll get no tell. Seb and Thompson trying to turn to take Zai down, but Zai's pushing on, forcing Thompson to back off. Still got one charge is available. Zai with the Spear. Shoves Thompson away. We'll be able to give him the space to back off. So they'll lose Nisha. They'll get the two supports for it. Look how much attention they're dragging, though. All of OG has to show up to the mid lane. Their safe lane jug is level 7. They are really suffering right now in this department. The Onisha making a pretty big mess up there. Diving forward, not expecting the gust. And he gets his courier killed. I think that's like five, six couriers already killed. Oh, and off. Nice angle. Baxter, running a big one down here. Excellent catch. I mean, that's the big target right now. Matu, king of the net worth. He's the one they want to be taking out. He was hitting some scary item timings here. The, the Maelstrom had just been completed here, 11 minutes in on top of the phase, so it's about to really hit his stride. They have a mech already on Yapsoron. That is so early. 5 0 and 1. He's gotten the majority of the kills for the team. But man, that is there we go. It's just unbelievably Straight up faster bad. than the patch fastest. And then that, I mean, that's not even on like a Mirana. I think that, that's, on any, that's on any that's hero. That's on any hero. Right? I that don't know. Is... I've just made that up, but I'm, it's, <laughs> it's on any hero. It's, damage might be an issue now. But Soxa with this surge. Let's get on top of Puppy. Puppy's still alive. He is still alive. No not anymore. We'll be able to come in and clean him up, but they're going to lose heroes in return. Or maybe not the healing ward. Anna's able to get the healing ward out in time. Keeps Sax for alive. And now Nisha, he's the one in trouble. He's got the run. The only yeah. one comes out. Anna's able to take him down. Oh, uh, Yapsor. They might give themselves something else. See, Yapsor pops the neck. He's trying to lead back up to the safety of his tower. But Sax is in with a hook. Oh hook shot. There's OG. They're down to third. They're not even done yet. They've got the chance. Yeah, right. They lay down the cogs. OG. They're suddenly getting four heroes. And they're losing nothing themselves. And they're back. Seb is completely back now. He gets himself a double kill. He's dominating. He has mech. How quick all this happens. They all just show up to bottom. Secret not expecting it all. Completely disarray. And they get the tower two off of all of it. Holy moly. It feels a cook shot just came back up. And he gets it off perfectly. I think I've got to say, I feel like Sax is playing very well this game. I know he's died a yeah. few times, but the, some of the moves that he's made have... They've just sort of set up the, the catalyst for, for these fights that OG's managed to just go straight back into Secret's aggression. 
and I really start to shut down that that lead that Secret did have. You know, we saw off the back of the lane, Secret, they had four heroes in the top five. It's now, it's pretty much back to even off those sort of moves. And Topsin was farming during all, too. Topsin was in the jungle just being a yep. Drow Ranger, hitting some creeps to see this one again. Just one by one there. They end yep. up dropping it. And they do still have to be a little careful. I think Nisha maybe underestimated how much the Ion Shell would just take off him. Like, look, his Flame Guard, it's just gone. It's gone. And then he's like, oh, wait a minute. And now he's I gotta to, run. I gotta get out of here. And as soon as the healing ward's out as well, they can't commit any further. And you see with the Omni Slash, not able to, to sort of put his remnant out long enough and wait for it to get the distance to jump, you know, far enough so it would break the, the potential follow-up jumps with the Omni Slash. And top, Another hook shot. He's going again. He's got the catch on Zai. Topson's in with the damage. Zai is on fire. He can't get out of this. He he really is. This is some hot stuff here from the clock. Such quick plays. OG just swing across the map. That whole lead that Secret did build up after laning phase, it's gone. Oh no. They can take him down. He's gonna have backup coming in. He's on the high ground. Done. Very nicely done here. It's top with the back of a Thompson. And it's gonna be kept safe. Puppy, oh, the creeps yeah, finish him off. Right. See the chase from No Tail. He's gonna go for more. He's got Primus put up in 10 seconds. This is, yeah, this is with Val Bruce, but that they're chasing forward for these kills now, too. Now with Healing Ward rallied around with that mech, too. They're gonna come in with some TPs here. Secret, secret. They wanna try and fight them. Zai's gonna lay down the arena. He's caught a few of them. He's able to get the spear back onto No Tail, but they're moving in with the Blade Fury. No Tail will fall. Zai in return, he's gonna get taken Radiant down. The wall's down with the illusions out. Zai's out. Radiant structures are they can get anything more here as they stick around, able to dig up a bounty rune as well in the midst of the action. As OG, they'll push on, they'll take this tier one. The group up. Just OG playing so well together with each other. Just the heals, really. The healing ward survives long enough. Even though Zai comes in, we get an arrow. But they have the damage. I mean, Anna's able to take off the, the flame right here with the blade fear and snaps it in again with a hook shot. They've got the control. This is gonna get taken out. Only slash over towards Poppy. It's more and yes, for too. OG. They may lose set, but honestly, this mid game, you know, secret after a, a pretty significant lead off the back of the lanes, they've just lost it completely here as OG are bringing the fight each and every time, and they're just tearing secret apart. OG and they're battling. And Topson, I'll as we said, that. he's just being able to get so much farm. And this, now they have Bruce Split available too. This was, these last two fights, two, three fights around these towers has just been OG setting it up perfectly. Look at the damage down. You have Soxa, as we said. Beautiful jump throughs. And he's been enabled, honestly, so well by Seven. Uh, yeah. Constantly ion shelled, constantly getting the right target. Look at the Q. <laughs> he's queuing up Orchid. This is usually what you see from it's, it's, like it's your offlane snowballing yeah. clockworks to try to go for this type of build. You can see the reasoning why, especially versus that Ember. Mm -hmm. As again, Matu. They caught him up in. And he's, he's not got anyone here he to back him up. Dead. Matu's dead. Vacuum back. He can't run. Zai, a first there. Oh, the in the midst of them, too. This time around, Saks are not quite able to get the hook shot. So with that in mind, Zai will be able to step away. And are still trying to chase, bear in mind. Dyer's top but, uh, is under attack. He can't go for this underneath the tower. Zai will be fine. Amateur. Gonna get healed up though, healing ward. But we're really seeing sort of the, the, the repercussions of these moves that the OG's been able to make against Secret. You know, Nisha and Zai, they're, they're starting to slip back and slip behind. They sure are. And it's not just the gold that's something important to look at. 2k, it's whatever. Look at the experience right now. It's near 8k experience lead for OG. They've been grouped up and they already have like, look at this clockwork. He's level, he's the same level, if not a good chunk higher than the Ember Spirit, the mid. Radiant he's higher level than his darks here as well on this clock. Soxa, on fire. And again, rallied around the towers, rallied, rallied around their big team fight and healing ward. They're looking for Topson. They are, they know he's been split off a bit. He's been getting so much space. And even with the three of them here, though, it looks like they're not going to actually be able to quite find him. Topson's able to step out in time. And now they got to be careful. They really do. Sax has got the hook shot online ready again. Split still available, of course, for No-Tail. As we'll see that move again up top. Matu just uh, trying to push on a little bit greedy here. Only had Zai by his side, and Zai not able to get over in time to do anything uh, about the two of them catching him there, Sax and Seb. They just, they're getting two split up. Secret has to Back, somehow find themselves kill? together, but they're getting caught one by one by one, also in these fights by OG. Crazy recovery. 19 to 5. It was it was 13 to 6 or something at some point, right? So they just got oh, one out of the three here is watching him. Oh, and that's not going to do anything here against the Play Fury. And now with the wall down, Zai's the one that's got to be careful, Anna. Got the Omni Slash at the ready as well if he sees the opportunity for a good target. They're trying to block Zai and cocks are down. Zai, he cannot get anywhere to safety. He'll drop the arena. The healing one on the high ground again. They're not even taking any damage. I mean, they're just they're, they're falling apart here. Secret OG just outplaying them. Top and Matu. To kill off Matu. He just stands his ground versus the rupture. They're all full health. 
OG. The team fight just too strong. I mean, the, the lanes really didn't matter as it they seemed really this didn't. game. You know, Secret may have turned up with, she said, drafting to have that edge in the lanes. The mechanics were there. They, they, were, they were having an excellent time in the matchups. But when it actually came to playing the Dota, you know, coming in with this action, the team play, OG, so far in this game one, they're on another level. And they're always there. It's just like it's, they're outnumbering them every time. I feel like they like to keep going. Even if they don't have ults available, they'll be able to. And crazy to say, too, is no till is three components toward his agonims already on the Brewmaster and almost level 12, too. So the frequency of these ults is going to be pumped yeah. out with two charges, Ooh. too. It's slightly off the mark. We can give him a one or two misses as he's had a yeah, that was a, that pretty was a perfect tricky game. one there with the leaps. Yep. Capsules away. Starting to build solutions. Secret getting very annoyed, of course, by Soxa. Four staff now done for Puppy, but... This damage really has been done. Zai has very little farm. You see he's queued up BKB on the Mars just to be able to survive versus this Clockwork getting on top of him constantly. Yeah, Thompson's items just coming out too fast now too. Loving the, the build up too. Yep. Blink Dagger, incredibly valuable on this hero. That, Green. You know, the, the angles that you're able to find in the team fight matter so much with the, with the gust and the multi shot. And if you see like the Mars walking up at you, right? Yeah. You can just blink out, reset in order to get a good positioning for it. Or you can blink in if you see opportunities. Yeah. Positioning is key for Drow Ranger. And they've done this for a long time. I know that OG Dyer's was one of the big teams when they used to pick Drow attack. when it had the one shot like Ancient Dyer's Mechanic. He used to go Blink Dagger even for that. They, they really know how good the item is. Especially this game where, I mean, normally the thing that would maybe put you off it is if they had that sort of setup that, that you wouldn't be able to blink out if they had, like, the Yules. But obviously, with the, the mech rush that Yapsa went for, there's yep. no Yules on the Mirana. And with the fact that Zai's having a tough game having to go straight for the BKB, there's no Yules on him. So they just don't have that that setup that, that would really threaten him. So the, the blink dagger, as you say, just, just going to be pretty much the, the item to solve the, any of her issues that, that he'd have with them walking up and trying to start a fight on him. And they're, they're ready to fight. Mm -hmm. It's level 12 on Brewmaster, the hook shot again. And they do with a the pushback. Nope. Into the gust. Aaron does come out. Come that will just save him. Yapsaw with that arrow coming through onto Toxin will stop the damage output and allow Nisha to get away. He's still in the area though, and he's doing so much damage now. Also finds himself, of course, an agility van brace on top of all this crazy agility he already does have. All grouping up. The BKB's done on the Mars, so now Zai will have a little bit of an easier option for himself to not worry about this clockwork. Oh, with so annoying, but Nisha. Be a little careful there. It comes yeah, straight okay. back into the start, and since he loses half his HP, we'll see the Rupture get dropped down on Thompson. The split out, they've got many ways to keep Thompson safe. Zai, he's what? trying to get in there to find him. He won't be able to clear out the trees with the arena. Hits into the ball with the spear. Can they bring him down? They, they can. Him. They're finally able to take down Thompson. Now they're ready for the counter plays. Zero G back in, back onto Zai. Zai, falling low. They get the stun connection onto the jump. He's in trouble. Can he get out of time? The healer walks out and in fact, Hannah wants to go back in. Pops the Blade Fury. He's ready to try and run down Yapsa, but as the Blade Fury comes to the end, he backs off. Nisha still alive Lots somehow. Speedy. As Matt, he's, he's cleaning up. He's cleaning up. He's to foul three. He's ready to run down. Seb, Seb can't escape this. Matsu chasing him down. Seb's trying to run, but Matsu's able to get in. And Secret, they're back. Team White. They finally get a good setup. They get the rupture on the drow. Zai knows his job. He does not care if he dies. The typical sacrificial lamb for the team. Matu able to just do full work. And Nisha as well just gets every single spell off this time. Not getting fully controlled for once. I mean, he got, he got so low in that situation. Yeah. But as you say, just one another secret actually able to keep them alive. And just an excellent start to the fight from Zai, knowing that his job to just BKB, get in the face of this drow, stop Topson from having any impact in the team fight. And Sox is low mana during all this. Like, he can't actually do what he's normally been doing of getting these catches, good initiations. Of course, that arrow too from Yapsor, sort of very effective. Yeah. And Matu, he was up in the air for a lot of the fight, but then as soon as he comes back down, three hero connection on the blood right, everybody's super low, and then he can just clean up the speed. A huge clean up. To get a big boost in gold and XP there with a team fight win such as that one. And this is what we want to see. I mean, just these constant battles between both. And, and now forth. these BKBs, they're going to be very effective. Secret, they were having a bit of that tough in that early game. They recognize what the problem is. They pick up two four steps on the supports. Now it's three BKBs on the three on all three cores. Yeah, things get a lot harder now. You know, you're not yeah. necessarily going to be able to overrun Secret with the brawl that you were bringing before. Yeah, these ion shells that have been very disruptive, these gusts and whatnot, will not be nearly as effective anymore versus this match commuter. Yeah, and we'll see with that that last fight going the way it did as well. Topson feeling that he does have to go a little less flashy and a little more safe. Just getting that BKB on now after the Manta so that he can be a bit more kitted out for 
But these Nero just running in him uh, with their own BKBs during the team fight. Still susceptible to the rupture if he is out of position. Does have to be a little more cautious how he shows himself on the initial sure. pushes. I think a lot of it's you know it's going to be down to how well he can be sustained by Seb with his Greaves. And of course, Anna with that healing ward. Very important, really, that they're able to keep that healing ward alive. So a lot for Anna to keep track on in the team fight. That's one Bruce split. He does have the two charges, though, so doesn't mind ever throwing one of them out here to mess with Nisha and also save his life. The apps are still in the area, though, to watch out for it. And they're just going to tip him. They're like, whatever. It's just one. You know, it's just one of the ults. You already have an Axe at 23 minutes as a five-position brew. You know, it's it's pretty good. He's a him some pretty good entry on time. Oh, he's deep, but he knows there's no chance. So Blade Fury and a TP will do the job every time for now. Matsu denying to the creep toy spinning on it, too. Just cheeky. Trying to get themselves this high ground advantage. These BKBs, as we oh. said, it's going to be a problem for OG. Snap. He's trying to dodge it all, but he can't dodge everything. Nope. Ink swell into the setup. They're ready to go for more. Anisha. Gonna have some backup. He's going to force the split. Indeed, we'll have the second charge being used here. They're still moving in. Maybe seeing if they can take down No Tail through the split. Dropping the rupture as well. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, how far? They're not going to dive for this. I don't think so. They're in the base. No, Anna's coming in for the side. He's coming in with the Omni Snatch. But they're nicely grouped up together. Yapsor also able to leap away. So nobody's dive to that initial burst from the Omni Snatch. Puppy will fall. Now, now time for the Starbind. Onto the two of them. Zai. DKB turns with the ball. Works. Starts to back on Matsu. He's cleaning them up. He's ready to run in. He's be able to pick up a second. Now, has got to be careful. Healing ones out. They'll get back behind the tier three. Nisha, he is going to get taken down. So the aggression there from Secret, kind of getting baited by Notel right up past the tier threes. It will get punished by OG. They may lose a few themselves, but they are able to kick back and take out three of Secret for that aggression. That was a pretty crazy dive from Secret for sure around the tier threes. Glyph gets popped and Tops unable to hold hey, his Hey, up as well. Can these and three do rush with the, with the healing ward up they in sure 10? They, they, they certainly can go for this. He's got BKB coming out for the drought oh, yeah. too. Secret's going to be up pretty soon, so it could be a good chance they've spotted it out as well yeah. with the scan. So Secret's going to head over. They've got good spam too. They just need to be sure to, get to kill that healing ward. See, I mean, who's getting in and out though? Uh, it has to be Yapso really, but he has no leap charges, so Radiant someone's going to have to go in there and run for it. Who's going to be able to make that move? Nobody can. And we have it. Topsum with the Aegis ready for the next fight. As well as, of course, that completed BKB. And they already making moves up top. Oh, no. Oh, the counter. They're up next. Hannah's <laughs> dead. So sad. They're getting a little carried away there as soon as they go for a move. Topsum. He gets and he's not going to be able to get away. The leash stops his TP. He gets leashed to no tail. He's trying to stand his ground with the BKB. He stands and does the with a hook shot over the wall. Yapsor. Yapsor has been trapped in the cogs. You get out of this. He can't. So Yapsor will go down. Toxin's still alive. He's going to step on the high ground. Get a good angle to start shooting back at Zai. But Matsu, he's in with the BKB. Closes the gap on Thompson. Takes down the drought. Matsu, he's ready for round two. The blood right set up. Saxon tries to hide himself in the cogs. But Matsu's still got the movement speed. He'll stay on top of the drought. He's going to have the back of Anisha as well. Thompson, he's attempting to run. But he's got no more defensive abilities or items to use to get him out of there. As Matu again finds the cleanup, No Tails also picked up there by the nuke. See a TP out from Saxa. He is the, the only man to get out of this. Everybody else going down. They may have got Roche, but as we saw that, Anna and Seb immediately moving up to the secret shop. Secret, were, they were there. They were ready. And, and Anna again just getting caught out on the front of the fight. And perfectly comboed up, too, from the side of Secret. They have a ward on the high ground. OG walks up blindly into that area. They perfectly see them on Secret, and they just connect everything. The spear, the arrow, everything onto Ana before he's able to get everything off. anything off. Same thing for Seb. And Seb, he is still very crucial to their team fight. So even though Topson is that strong with an Aegis, they get on top of him. And without having some way to reset and pull the fight away with the Darkseer, Secret thrive. It's a crazy game still, though. 54 kills, 27 minutes, Owen. No, I'm, I'm, we're going to have a lovely <laughs> bit in a second. Just wait. It's about six, wait, wait, 16, about 15 seconds. And then if you look... Ladies and gentlemen, towards the... Wait, Just wait. Yeah. Ten, wait. Seven more seconds. And then if you look at the top of the screen... Beautiful. 27, 27, 27, 27. Very nice. It's a sign. If you're out there and you're 27, today is a lucky day. How old are you? Oh, sh no, I'm 20. I'm are you 20? No, I'm 28. Are you? Oh, oh, wait, yo, wait, when did you get so... Jesus, oh, what, I had a birthday. what happened yeah. all these years? <laughs> <laughs> so a neutral item's picked up. Who got what? I saw Cloak of Flames on both sides. 
Nice pickup for the Brewmaster. Also, a nice pickup for the uh, for Nisha himself. I mean, they're smoked. They're trying to come up here again. This place didn't do them too well last time, though. But they are smoked this time. Yeah. Secret does seem to be pretty aware of the positioning. They'll get a ward down themselves now, Ajiju. If you drop it in the lane here, uh, but, you know, somewhere that Secret's not necessarily going to expect Vision to be at this point in the game. It does provide a lot of vision, because we did see the Marzolt knock down all the trees mm -hmm. there, so it is giving more usual vision. More than usual, that is. As does get the blink anyway now, the now that he does have his defensive BKB for himself on the Drow Ranger. Yeah, always a, a nice one and to upgrade with. They re-smoke. They really want to find this fight now. They're feeling who strong. They, who do you think they're looking for the jump on? Or well, Didi on Anna? Oh. oh, he actually buys Did he just buy himself a bottle? Or maybe there was one in the base that he picked up there. Oh, but either way, I, I think he probably was on the ground. So, so he gets himself the, the bottles sent out. Either way, he's not going to wait for it. He's picking it up because he knows the rest of the team. They want to find action. No tell wants to start the fight where he, he can lift somebody. Because he wants to be able to stop these three BKBs from going up at the but reset. Moonlight. moonlight Shadow. He's causing those misuses. We'll be able to lay down a sentry in no okay. time. He's found his way over to the back lines. But he wants the Grimstroke. They, don't, they can't walk up this hill, though. Secret has no, perfect vision in this area. It's not an easy fight for OG to step into. No. They're going to respect that high ground. And no split available now. Go back away. Mm -hmm. Enchanted Quiver on Topson. Always a nice one. Yeah. Extra bit of punch there on the... Yeah, a few hits. Okay, so who got which one? I saw Paladin Sword as well. Paladin. And Matsu getting that one's going to be very nice for him. Yeah. Combination of just all the heals. Right, his spell damage as well. Just his innate healing that he gets from when he kills a hero. That's going to be pretty huge. If he does it, whenever he finishes off the hero inside the fight, it's going to be a big surge of health. Awesome. Very nice. I'm sorry, I mean, we'll do the, the, um, the amulet on uh, Anna. Very nice for all the, the extra bit of speed buffs. And uh, the Cloak of Flames. You know, one for the brew yep. and uh, one for the Amulet. Probably two of the, two of the better Cloak of Flames heroes in the game. Definitely. get himself the uh, shard on the Mars. Very important when you're playing versus any Manta heroes. You know, you want to be able to show you pin the right hero. A little bit of downtime here. Scouting with the arrow. Secret just continuing to play around the high ground. Arrow Got connects, him. but they just ping him out. Now they know that they're all rallied in the area. Basher now finished up for Matu, so... Anna's got to be a bit more careful. Yes, yeah, lifting on targets. Oh, look at the jump. They found no tail. He's very dead. I mean, with, with the brew gone, I guess this is sort of 50 seconds, but OG's probably going to try and do their best to avoid a team fight. Yeah, push bottom. They at least can actually threaten present potential like high ground. Ana could just go up there. Does have to, as we said, watch out for the basher, because he can't do the spin TPs as easy. He doesn't know the basher's online just yet. He'll see it now. We'll see it now if he does click over there, for sure. Hey, they, they click on them all. They better. They better. Professional players. They're just going to swing top. Creep wave dies in the mid lane, but they still have creeps up top to go for that tier 2 tower as Ana. Doesn't see anything just Radiant's yet. He's waiting for a moment until he sees more information. Dyer's Thompson's going to be the one who actually attack. perhaps pokes bottom because he's a little safer, but... Seb might be calling for a fight, it looked like. He's pinging in the area. Dyer's top tower has How many fallen. Bruce Splits do we have? We do have the Radiant's one, almost two available. Right, yep. On the respawn. In that time as well. Try to pump him up towards that 18. Ooh. Nisha has Axe now. So fights for the Drow. There's a lot of control, a lot of different ways to get on top of her now. Let's have to be a little careful. Nisha also can always deal with these side lanes easier now. He has more remnants to be able to rejoin the fights. Let's see what they can get. Zai. He's going to go for the opening. Great target. Straight in onto Zai. We'll get the pushback as well. As the BKB off Zai. Zai. Is he able to step away from this? Get the arena out as well with the blink size out of He's this. He's actually be the first to fall. BKB falls down to Nisha. Nisha may be thinking about getting back in on this. Oh. Healing ward is down. Dude, he, he refreshed the... He overcharged or overclocked on the clockwork and then he hooked into the spear and it speared him away from stunning Zai again. So it allows him to reset and get away. That was an interesting little mechanic coming in. As it looked like a good initiation, but as we said, these BKBs are very tough for them to deal with still. Yeah, they couldn't quite keep Zai chain stunned to stop him from getting his one off there. Who's still just sitting at the top. We'll see this once more. And so, yeah, stats are coming in with that newly purchased Aghanims. Gonna pop. He does it a little bit late with the overclock, so he doesn't connect it before that BKB comes up. But ready, he hook shots and gets speared to his cog as it does hit. Although the stun connects, isn't able to get the secondary cogs to maybe trap Zai in place. Oh, that's true. What you feel like if he was a bit quicker on that, they could have probably stopped so I think the BKB he, off. I think he could have done it just a little bit faster. He was, I think he maybe wanted to save it for the secondary goal, but then realized, ah, oh, crap, I need to actually use it to lock down Zai long enough. 
I like that he's, you know, when you do save like that, it shows like, you know, he's bloodthirsty. He wants the next kill. Sure. I like no, that. He doesn't want to, to feel like he's needing to, to yeah. throw onto both. But, well, the way the fights are going, the fact Secret have a 5k lead. It's definitely getting to the point where OG is it's going to be rather important for them to just guarantee themselves a kill at the start of the fight. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, Secret's going to be likely to, to overrun them, especially with Matu just getting as big as he is and being such a, especially with his itemization, in a, a fantastic place to carry up against this Jug and Drow. Yeah, and I love when you pe I see people pick up this Mjolnir. Sometimes it doesn't make sense because there's no illusions and stuff like that, but several, so many small damage instances is something you have to remember too with Mjolnir. It's playing versus Darkseer, versus Cloak of Flames, versus Brewmaster Burns and stuff like this. So much damage. Heroes that are not BKB, this Mjolnir is going to start popping off shooting lightning everywhere. OG? I'm checking out Rush. It's up in a second. This could be some clutch timing here. I mean, they can go for it. You know, keep Secret the healing ward out too, though. Pit. And they see nothing on the map, so they're probably expecting some Secret's type of movement here. Die. He's going to know it's there. He gets dispelled. Zai's ready to use the Narkin. They're going to come up with the Omni Stash straight away onto Zai. Zai yeah. stepped away with the BKB. Anna He's going to have the Omni Stash redirected, and that's the uh, Omni Stash used to, to no avail, really. Doesn't really achieve much at all. Pump the Blade Fury tries to run, but matches him with the BKB. He's straight on top of Thompson. Thompson. They're trying to take down this drow. Zai getting low, but he gets the spread up in time. Over to Zai finally falls, but Anna's so low here. As they'll lose the jug, they will turn the Thompson's able to get the damage up onto Matumba Man. As Matumba Man out of the game, no buyback available. On him. So we'll see Zai buy back in the tank to get back over it. Over uh, the river stacks up, pushing them back with the cogs. She's stopping Puppy and Zai from being able to re enter the fray. Over to the side, Nisha with another remnant gets himself away from the chase of No Tail. Beautiful reset. The wall being very problematic for the No Tail is left alone this time around. Does step up a bit too far. The Topsy able to reset his positioning. So important here. Seb controlling them inside that wall, and Topsy gets to the high ground, is able to actually focus fire and do something in the fight. See the oh. damage coming out from there. Beautiful. Well, but the fight as it is, though, two dead on OG. I mean, I guess for, for Secret, they don't really they have don't the have best Matu. way of taking Roshan themselves. Even with the, the numbers here, the four versus the three of them, they can't really go back into no. the pit. I mean, they, well, they, they, they may try. I guess with Zai, this it's pretty safe. Zai can tank at least. He's got the Orb of Destruction too, so okay, it's a little bit faster. Out. So they've got that decent amount of minus armor, but without Matu, it's going to be a bit slower than they right, yeah. ideally want. But yeah, 35 seconds, no brew, 20, no jog. They've got a good window here. Does Seb want to go for some sort of... He's heading over. Ooh. I mean, oh, a secret oh, oh, oh. Bit, they're a little scared. They, they're, they're a bit hesitant about this. Can Saxa pull something off? He's got the hook shots. He's going to go in. Straight away. On to die. Mark's shot comes in with the side. Nisha pops the ghost out to try and keep himself safe from the physical damage. Tops Nisha. Get the BKB off. Nisha's going to go down. He's going to be able to pick up the Aegis. It's going to be Saxa. Saxa able to grab the Aegis here. She's picked up by Nisha. No, Nisha got Aegis actually. Put the side to it. Alt Saxa didn't get anything. So he just kills Zion. So Nisha, is he actually going to be able to get them all out of here? Yes, she gets forced out of the way. Oh, right. Okay. Nisha's able to pick everything up. He's away with it all. Dude, the Ghost Scepter they purchase got it. actually he coming in clutch. Out. He was getting hit so hard, but somehow he resets with Ghost Scepter and actually ends up I getting mean, he's it. He's on the floor for so long there. So he, starts was. Coming, he, gets, he does get the kill on Zai. Now, I thought that he was able to pick it up as well, but he wasn't. Nisha getting away with a big benefit there. And again, one smaller than this Ghost Scepter. Paying off. As, I mean, he's pretty much got the E-Blade done now, thanks to that fight as well. Uh, Anna was able to get the shard for himself. Oh, they got though, the, sh okay, the, they get fight, the shard. So. Pretty beneficial because he does have the Scotty and the Maelstrom already. will be really strong onto Anna. And they do kill Zai again. So, I mean, that is a little weird one, but if Zai dies, he's probably like, oh, I got my long death out of the way. Because that was the death after the buyback. Was, so, for the next was. death, he'll be back Zai faster. Nisha, he's, he's going to go pick up, finish that E Blade. So, there we have it. A lot of magical bursts ready to come out from Nisha. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah. You've got to be careful, especially in these fights, Anna. The Blade Fury, as soon as he comes out of that Blade Fury, he can get and blown up. And when the BKB starts, I mean, now we're already at seven seconds here on the top and these BKBs are going to start lasting pretty low. Getting on top of them with all that crazy damage is going to be nuts. All that spell damage, and oh, they find a timeless, the timeless relic. relic. I mean, Nisha. Oh, Nisha's going to be a happy boy. He gives it to him right away. There we have it. Oh, yeah. Timeless relic, E Blade, Aghanims. Nisha, he's good to go. Near level 25 on two of these oh, scores, too. He takes an arrow to the face. He tried to commit. Good. He tried to believe that he could get oh, that. Oh, Nisha's going the for in time, and indeed he is. Nisha's ready to chase on. He's got the Aegis. He's fearless right now. It's on Thompson. But he's got healing ward. Yeah, it's just a little bit hard now to get to top. So Nisha is trying his best to close in. But the stun control, Nisha, is going to get the slider fist down. He's still alive there with the first lock. Nisha, he's not even going to go down. The one since they've got the control on to Anna. Finally, he pulls Anna. Comes out with the Omni Slash. Zion gets one of the top and even a hit from the side with the damage. But that's Anna out of the game. Goes down. OG 
he's got to get out of it. Nisha, he's trying to catch Horn. He's chased it. He's trying to see if he can find Thompson, but Thompson is already well out of that. Still, they get the cleanup. They take down Step. Secret. Now with a rally together here, Matsu and Nisha just proving to be a little too much now. And just too much, too, too many ways to get on top of Thompson. Like he get, he pops his BKB and immediately right after the BKB is going down, he has to just run away. So much overwhelming magic damage that is coming out. And I mean, Soxa is so crucial in the fight field to give that space and window for this Drought oh, Ranger. Nisha. Nisha. He's got knee blade. BKB's on cooldown. So Manta, Manta's available now. Okay. Oh, the damage, the damage. Oh, who? Oh, all right. Thompson will take that. You gotta be careful, man. This guy's got. He's got a DD. Get out of him. The Moe shots. Yapsel's got to get away. As Thompson. He's doing it. He's holding on. He's holding on. And now it's Saxon with a hook shot. They're calling another Thompson. He'll pick up a second kill. Oh my god. Well, they thought they were going to get a kill on the uh, Drow, but nope. And Thompson was doing a, past. a whole lot in the, the early game. He's sort of keeping it keeping it solid. Having that high damage output in those fights that allowed OG to initially sort of pick themselves out of a bad place off the back of the laning stage. Then the mid game enters Secret starting to match the fight. Thompson though. Oh, he missed it around. A little too long. Got the BKB. BKB. Has he got anywhere? Getting out. Trying to get Pike himself Structure. to safety, but he is gone. Oh, yeah. Just uh, talking Thompson up. He decides to spend a little too long standing there. They're hitting the tier two tower. And now No-Tell as well. Likely to get ran down. He just gets speared. Nice. A couple phenomenal spears this game. Not, yeah. Into the towers, just crazy. catching them off guard. And then he's ruptured. Can't KB, can't oh, yeah. reset away. And Steph, yeah, Nisha, you better tip Zai after you make your mistake. Zai making up for it himself. Really, I beautifully. Mean, back and forth continues, just as it feels like you know, OG's getting a bit of momentum back with the push of Thompson, then bam. Oh, they just get shut down. They try to run it down mid. Secret says no. We're, we're more than kidded out to. To do that, they've still got yeah. the lead. Is he got a 9k advantage? He's sneaking it. Look at the courier. The gem, it gets hit in the tree, but oh, he gets it. Very nice. Oh, no, mid. Mid. Look at the spear. I know. The ward is out. There's a lot of sustain, a lot of regeneration to hit Brown. And now, I know with the blade fury. He's got okay. two sacks up. Comes in from the side. Matthew. No. This time, it's secret oh, turn to overstay their welcome. And there's just two of them there. The rest of the team was the thrown away. Dash. All right, Bobby. Back and forth, back and forth. Both teams keeping us on the edge of our seats here. <laughs> As, uh, there's no knowing what comes next in this so, so it looks like Secret wanted to get the outpost to have the availability for the TP, I believe, for Nisha. So they were split away. And then the other two go yeah. mid, and they get caught from a buyback from Soxa just capitalizing on that. It's pretty wild. That is, I mean, pretty awesome to see just these quick little small understandings of where the positioning of the heroes are. And yeah, I believe that's what happened, right? Because Puppy, he went to go get outpost for Nisha to have TP, but then they split away because they were pushing mid. Yeah, they were pretty far back behind that tier 2 tower. And now a couple items coming out for Running the side of OG. Mid. And, oh, is that what I think it is? Okay, it's just an Radiant's illusion in the bottle, but still relevant. Oh, no. And that little bit of a dispel could get him out of the chains or something, save the, the use of Blade Fury for later. Yeah. We'll see that. I'll oh, replay once more. She said, where is he over Okay, so moment? Puppy's all the way up top. They just claimed one of their outposts. And, I mean, they're just so split, split they're, apart here. They're so deep here, Matu and Zai. Yeah. Radiance, middle tower. <laughs> they wanted some fun. They got it. Oh, gee. In the game, Saxon. He's in again. Oh, he's got him. They caught him. They got him. And now they're going to be on with the push. They still got a bit of window here with Zai and Matu. They're dead now. This game is actually insane. <laughs> well, OG's going to be able to get the racks here by the looks of it. They've got the full axe done on, on both of them, Step and Anna, ready for the next fight. As that's the mid-rack's gone, they're going to sweep round to the bottom and see if they can get something more out of this. Matthew's back in five. Step's got the axe freshly picked up after for this fight. So they're all that much tankier. 4,000 HP juggernaut. There we have it. Smoke's coming out for secret. They're looking to see if they can get the jump. And that's standing his ground with the Blade Fury. Soulbind Juice pretty early here. They'll be able to back off and make sure there's no follow-up to that hole. Yeah, so not, does not want to buy back either, so not really looking for a fight just yet. They want to push on Anna close to level 25 as well. Can do it. No tail with the second travel spin. Uh, the buyback coming out. Coming in with the side of the gust. They are focusing that match. Matthew blocks the BKB. Pops the cheese. Back up the full HP. Nisha gets a defensive remnant instead. I had to jump back to safety. And now they haven't got to run. He's in with the cat. Hook shot. Nisha back into the side. As Nisha is out for the side. Gets never slide and fits that round. Nisha is able to jump back in time. He'll win. But secret. They're being forced back to the fountain. As Anna is ready to look for kills. Jumps in with the first slash. Blame Fury to pop as well. He's on top of Puppy. Takes out the grip shot. Buyback comes out. Matthew. He's trying to get on. Stops him. But Matthew. He's being given his own corner. He's going to get the back shot. Takes down. Tops of Matthew. Ready to go for the next time. He's so bad. Down, Matthew, Matthew, down for 100. 
Saxa no Tech will run the ups up back to the fountain as well. This is Saxa. He's going for the TP out. No tail. Still around. Size in the back up. Nisha as well comes swinging across. The secret. They will clean up overall as they keep their bottom racks alive and will push back OG. <laughs> the speed that these heroes are moving. Nisha is zipping through at full speed with his remnants and everything. The blood secrets dying through, but he gets Still isolated the for a second. He gets left alone, and they will be able to finish him off. Soxa, time and time again, coming in clutch for his team. He is. Secret Trying to do his have best to, two buybacks. To, to find these big catches, but in those sort of situations, it's just not quite enough there with the rest of his team just getting cleaned up at the start of the action by Matumba Man. But it's it's an expensive hold for Secret. They do have to use two buybacks to be able to keep it up. And Topson, he didn't spend gold in all this last time. He has 6,000 gold saved up oh, on this drought range. He's, uh, he's got a lot of money. <laughs> Probably time to say goodbye to the one. Like, obviously, at this stage of the game, and with the way that the game's played, does want to make sure he has buyback. Yeah, buyback is going to be very important in a game like this where we're seeing the action swing back and forth so so ferociously. He does have, I believe he's just about has the gold for both, actually. He's just about to. 4,300 surplus, so he should be able to buy both. But back the other way, as we said. There we have it. I mean, are we going to see any buybacks come out here? Or do you think they're going to hold and just sort of let the damage be done? 20 seconds. You don't want to do that. Yeah. Five seconds, though. Just Saxon might go in as soon as Drow respawns. Sure. Saxon might be able to do something to stop the push. And he's going to sure try. He's going to try once. See if he can keep his rack safe and alive here for the little bit of time before the rest of OG's out, and he can. A simple hook shot in, and Secret will back off. Saxon are able to come in, keep the racks alive, and protect any buybacks being used by his teammates. Speedy How's our rush looking? Is back up now. Well, it's the big one as well. This is going to yep. be the big decider. We need to get vision around the pit. Both sides, shot. both sides quite limited on the vision department. Illusionist cape found for tops. Oh, that's a lovely one. That's tops are going to have it. It's great to play to push out the lanes to course down the line. Maybe Seb wants to hold on to it for the team fights, but for now, it's just going to speed up tops in this farm even more. And maybe bait. Perhaps That's true. The we'll, we'll it is very it important. Catches them off guard. They are very focused on making sure they can get on top of Topson. He could do some clever stuff with this illusion for sure. Look at the smoke as well. They send the, the illusion down yeah. mid. Both. Oh yeah, all Where's three with the meds too. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if Secret fall for that. They'll probably be able to assess the damage being done and realize they're on the high ground. It's going to get dispelled, no tell. Get grabbed by the chains. He's actually going to pop the first split here. Maybe see if he can get a catch as he starts to run them down. See what he can force out of Zai. Zai. And get forced to the side. They're trying to hold on to the BKB. Saxon's able to get in with the slashes with the pushback. They've got him. Zai goes down. Saxon again with the catch. Now with the guns. Pushing back Nisha. And a turn towards him. Matu He's trying to look for a target. The parallel wall dropped here. But Matu he's in onto step. Trying to run down the ducks here. BKB's out for Saxon. Saxon. He's over towards them. They've got the control onto No Tail. No Tail pulling those. Matu. He's able to take down No Tail. Matu ready to go for his next target. At the same time, Zai being pushed back with the BKB out. Zai steps back out. Keeps the contain in the arena. Switch back comes out to Matumba Man. Matumba Man, he's tanky, and he's able to pick up another. Commits on to Sam. Okay. Now turns on the wall down. Multiple buybacks coming out from OG, but Matu is just doing the damage. Then Thompson will fall. Saxon's got to run. Nietzsche's able to close the gap here with the run and jump straight over the wall. Saxon, Matu, he's just taking them apart. And in a fall, Saxon's going to get cleaned up as well. Triple kill for Matumba Man. What a fight from Secret Zai actually coming in so clutch. He jumps into the right side, splits up three heroes, all Cotton Stars and Mar Marzolt. They couldn't do anything to back up their teammates. Matu and Nisha able to Matu, clean up on Matu's Matu's just doing so much damage. 15k damage done in that last team fight. As Matu, I mean, he's able to get it. And even with the BKB, when it wears off, Matu, it doesn't matter. He's able to find targets, commit on them, and know he's going to get that kill, that burst of life to keep on fighting. And it is, his eye, with his buyback, he kept the Drought all the way on the right side. So Drought wasn't hitting Matu at all in the fight. He kept him fully Where controlled by Zai. That was such clutch they're play for him. trying to push them away from Roche here, but oh, they're up. doing it without Anna, they're doing it without their main man, Saxa. <laughs> One split. No tail. He's trying to spook them away from the pit, but Matu, he's doing so much here. He's able to turn, commit here with the Minotaur horn. Roshan will fall there and pick it all up. And they are. They should grab the Aegis secret, take it all here from the pit. Zana with the buyback. Is he actually going to be able to find anything with this, Matu? He'll turn, drop the rupture onto tops and stop OG from chasing. As with that in mind, we're seeing a huge jump up now for the lead of secret. 18k advantage. They grab it all from the pit. Of course, OG also having to spend money there, using that, that buyback on Anna's jug. Now, we see Matu having some uh, inventory, a little bit of inventory issues, trying to swap everything all around here, trying to figure out which items he does want to use. He's keeping Minotaur, in, Minotaur Horn in, but he's keeping Leveler in his backpack just in case when it is on cooldown, he's swapping it in. Same thing with his Basher, swapping in constantly. Yeah, we'll see for the next fight. Yeah, Cheese being held by Matu, Refresher mm -hmm. Shard on Zai.
And these uh, these fights are just so crazy because everyone's hitting 25. It's so early in the game, but all these supports, like almost everyone's 25 on. That's just the broom. We don't see a lot of games where everyone hits the 25. No, it's just been this chaos. early, kind of 48 minutes in. I guess this is just sort of the abundance of kills that we have had coming out. It's uh, 48 minutes in, 47 to 41. So much control that can come out too. The two supports on both sides just providing so much utility. I mean, they, they, they have to get Matu. Any, this Bloodseeker is just going to clean up every single team fight. He is just the, the, the ultimate threat here for OG's lineup. It's it's just so hard with the way that, I mean, Zai is just playing like this, this just this bro of protecting his, his core so well so that they can get these constant spells combos off, yeah. especially like Nisha and Matu, just able to focus fire their te oh, targets team targets a lot well there. Of course he is. Yeah, got the, the extra HP regen. I mean, that, that's something that's going to be kind of this whole area where it is. You, you just pretty much can't fight into it. That sort of insane amount of boosted regen for the team. You know, if, if you're OG, you have to step away. That arena comes out, you've got to bail. Yeah, and they're also, if you notice, they're giving Puppy the farm right now. No one else is touching neutrals. Mm -hmm. Puppy's about to have Aghanims. So there's a very strong Drow Ranger and Juggernaut on one side. If he gets illusions of these two, or even one of them in the fights, it could be really problematic. Also, the level 25, as we did see, you know, that Ink Swall radius, massive, and everyone else also having those 25 talents, as we are seeing pointed out. Of course, the... The test will still be there for Secret when it comes to breaking the high ground of OG. OG, some pretty good ways to spam from a distance. And this draft built around Topson's drought. They did use some pretty big buybacks though on the side mm -hmm. of OG for sure. They're the, the two important ones on the side of Secret are still available. Yes. And none of them are available on the side of OG. Sure, it, 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 if, if Secret can just commit, make that jump onto one of these cores without buyback, they'll probably be able to, to, to close the game up. Mm -hmm. So OG have to be very cautious, very careful to make sure that that backup is there to ensure that they don't get jumped, even inside the base, which, which could happen, of course. Secret having some pretty good heroes for the gap close. Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. Creeps are hitting the base. So they do know that Secret is postured probably aggressively into their side there. So now Yaps are backing up. Sai, he's invis on the hunt. He's going to build the fun, but he is magic immune inside of Cogs, that level 25 talent. Good old spell immunity. And we did see, yeah, Stormcrafter did reveal him, I believe, inside the tree line. I think it tapped his eye. Yeah, I so think that's probably why we there. saw stacks of players he did. I love that talent, though. He has BKB, but doesn't have to use it. He just clicks Cogs. Octarine now for Yapsor, okay? All right. Bit of a luxury item, right. it feels yeah, like, for him. Yeah, they're rolling in the money here, both of these teams. Secret he does have triple so. triple arrow. So it's three arrows every 9.8 seconds, too. That is pretty obnoxious. Let's see what they can get. You say, if they catch one of the heroes without that buyback, What's this is going to be a real hit yeah, still against got, OG. So that's 30 minutes or so on all three of the cores on OG. 30? Three minutes, sorry. That would be quite enough. 30 minutes would be pretty yeah, devastating. 30 minute buyback. <laughs> <laughs> One buyback again. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Oh, would you know this? They're playing very careful right now. Making sure not to have anyone out on the map getting caught by these movements of secret. They still have they have problems taking out Matu still mm -hmm. though. Just this butterfly, they don't really have the true strike nice. at all. We're seeing Ana, he's building toward it, but Thompson's not gonna be able to. He's, he just doesn't have space, like inventory space is just limited. Not for sure. Until he has that MKB, they they don't kill this Bloodseeker. No. They don't they don't kill this Bloodseeker before Max is killed, you know, just kill one, kill two of them, and yep. constantly getting this revitalization throughout the team fight. Zai leading the charge. The gem in the front line too. Runs himself a haste. Zap forcing in bottom, double ion shell is thrown down on the creep wave. A little bit of a stall, a little bit of a slowdown right now. But for OG, as we talked about, you know, we, we know why they're not trying to look for action. I mean, yep. it, is there anything that's sort of secrets waiting for? Is there a reason why we don't sort of see them just shove down a lane and try to go for the high ground? It's just a bit hard because of these yeah. double ion shells, these illusionist capes that keep getting sent down the lanes. It is a bit difficult for them to just force the issue fully here. Now they are rallied around bottom. Lane is in a decent spot here too, as well in the top lane. There's still a tier two to take down here. Yep. Scouting out that heart, that uh, triangle area with the blood, right? My god. Max speed on Machu is so absolutely huge. ridiculous. He's got the shard too, as we see. High pure damage coming into play. 
So much gold. Yeah, he's, he's, I mean, he's, he's queuing up the MKB. He's going to have to get rid of something for that. Yeah, he just, it, it's probably the save also, just in case. Like, mm -hmm. if a fight happens, he dies first. He buys back, buys boots of travel. He can come back in the fight, stuff like that. You want to have to be, you want to have to save. Especially with this point. As lanes now Guys, becoming a problem again. Seekers, Sunrise. they're going to have to back up. But OG, they've claimed high ground. Seekers sees where that rocket came from, though. So they should know that OG's fully positioned on it. Look at that heading in it. We'll see Matu already. Matu's really low mana. And he didn't, didn't manage to get the rupture up onto Anna. To the side, Saxa. He's going to hook shot out to safety. Gets away, so I think about chasing his in. He's got the arena to fit. They're going to follow up with one of these. He's going to get the slash off, but he's not bad. Doesn't matter. He's going to get the only slash off as well. Secret grouped up. Back him onto the tree. The Yams are jumping away, but Zion's getting well. The blade team from Anna. They're able to take down Zion. Matu pushing on onto Seb. Anna trying to punch back the bash. coming out from Matu. Matu's BKB shortly about to come to an end. See the buyback from Zion as he looks to keep this fight going here for Secret Zion. With the spear back onto Saxa. Catch the clockwork. Multi shot coming in for the side, but Matthew's able to take down Stax and Nisha. Jumping up towards Anna with the Blade Fury's back up. Anna with the Blade Fury turns towards Matthew. He gets the back. Matthew, he's getting taken down. Matthew's a ball. They open the lotus on both his time. Wall gets Zai some sort of protection, but it's not enough. They brought down Zai. It's a die back on the mark. The rest of Secret, they've got to run. Nisha. They've got to get out of here. Over in the trees, they've got the control on Puppy. Puppy. Don't know he's there. Looks like they're going to be a little careful. I mean, OG, they find themselves a huge move here. They had to use a buyback on Saxa, but Secret, they used two core buybacks themselves. And it's a dieback. No, and Saxa, a huge angle. Gets the hooks straight in onto Yamsa. Yamsa tries to leap away. They'll get him up to the high ground. Matthew turns with the rush to stop Thompson from chasing. But Saxa, he's there with a point break as well as the cock. Saxa gets the catch on to the top of man. Sends him for another kill. A Secret, they've lost Matthew. They've lost Side. They've lost Nisha as well. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Nisha does have the bye-bye, is going to be forced to use it's it. just the three of them, though. OG, they've got a big window now. Where there's no Zai, no Matsu for the defense of Thompson's in. Z-Blade, lead to the out of the draft, but the first hit four's gone. Double arrow hit there from Yapsor. They're trying to span the way, but the Yaks is in! Saxa is in with a hook shot on the back, but catch it, Yapsor, catch it! Puppy, it's It is absolutely over! Wow, Saxa, just unbelievable plays from the clock. I mean, this from, game. from start to finish. Look at him instantly taking yeah. the headset on. He's like, yup, that he was knows. me. That was me. Those were.